Week six of our Starting From Scratch series, guys. Uh, look, it's gonna be a pretty big episode this week. I've got a private pick lined up for the main store. I'm actually gonna take a few items out of that private pick uh, because I think it's gonna be quite large. Uh, and I'm gonna put into this second store. I like to try and add $700 into my second store. We're trying to build it up to $5,000 in sales over a 90 day period. Uh, so I'll take you through that private pick. I'll show you what I'm putting up onto the second store. And I'm also gonna take you through some sales as well. We've actually had three sales so far come through in week six and I'll take you through them now. All right, so the first one is actually Virtua Cop 2. Uh, Elite Edition on the Sony PlayStation 2. Now, I do love selling video games in my main store, as you can see on my uh, left or my right-hand side there. Um, I've got some video games, and, and I do sell quite a bit of them, so no surprises to see them moving quite well in the second store too. Um, this sold in 23 days. Uh, we got them for just $2. There was a bunch of video games in a thrift store a few weeks back, um, you know, and to find them for just $2 each was actually quite rare. We normally have some, some pretty high video game prices, sort of $5-ish is probably the average price for our video games where I am. Um, so to find this one for $2 was awesome. Um, after fees, post, and cost of goods, we actually profited $17 from this video game. And the fact that we were able to get it to sell in less than 30 days is always the goal. Uh, so that was really cool to see. Um, this is actually, this next one, it's the most, most profit we've had in the first six weeks of selling on eBay with the second store. This was um, Foot Trot Flats, or is it Foot Rot? I think it's Foot Rot Flats, and everyone always gets up at me in the comments for getting the pronunciation wrong, so hopefully I've pronounced that correctly there. Uh, $85, guys, we ended up selling this for. This is a huge book series. Um, in total, there were nine books in this little bundle with Foot, uh, foot Rot. Uh, I'm, oh, geez, I'm always going to get that wrong. Um, with Foot Rot, um, the, the ones later in the series are more expensive. I think if you find book number 27, it's worth about $100 by itself. And I have actually sold it for $100 in the past as well. I was lucky enough to find it once. Um, but this one here was books numbers one to six. We were missing book number seven. And then there was book eight, nine, and 10. And those first sort of early day series books um, for Foot Rot, you can actually sell for about 10 bucks a piece. Um, hence the reason why I tried to list mine up for 90 to to $100. And I ended up taking a best offer for $85. Um, I found these for just $5 in a private pick off Selwyn, who was a viewer of the channel. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, he came to my place, sold me a bunch of stuff. And a bit like what we're going to be doing in this episode today, I took a couple of items out of that private pick for the main store and I put it into my second store. Um, and obviously, this was one of them. So after fees, post, and cost of goods, it is our number one most profited item uh, for $55.60. So whenever I see that book, guys, I'm always buying it and it is always selling. I don't have any left. Um, they just always go out the door. So definitely keep an eye out for that one. Um, and then the other one as well, this was another slightly larger sell-through rate. It was 29 days that it took to sell, but it is a really good DVD series to try and find. Um, it was The Girls Next Door, Hugh Hefner, Playboy Mansion. Um, this one was a good one. It's actually quite a rare DVD series. And DVDs are just such a big category to try and sell on eBay. If you're unfamiliar with certain categories to get into, I would recommend DVDs. Um, this one actually was found in a thrift store for just $3, uh, which is pretty much what you got, what I'm seeing thrift store pricing to be for DVDs, um, which is getting a little bit more X-y than what it used to be. It used to be like $1 to $2, and now it's like 3 to $4. Some stores, a dollar a disc, and that's just unfeasible, unfortunately. Uh, but we sold it for $34.95, and after fees, post, cost of goods, uh, we ended up profiting $15.25. So, you know, 3 into 15 29 day sell through rate. It's a bit of a volume game when it comes to DVDs. Um, but if you're finding the bigger box sets, which is what I've been selling a lot of throughout this second series or second store series, um, they're actually making some pretty significant profit. So if you can find entireties of TV shows, you're always going to do really well. Uh, but $15 in profit off that one, I didn't think that was too bad. So hopefully I'll be able to update you guys in this video with a few more sales as we go throughout the week. But uh, I want to take you into the private pick in this part of the video and show you what other stuff I'm able to pick up for not only this second store, but also the main store as well. Well, guys, it's been a tough old drive this morning. It's absolutely bucketing down with rain, and I've been in the car for the last two hours. So I'm up north trying to catch up with Scotty, uh, who is a viewer of the channel, and he sent me an email during the week saying that he was getting out of the eBay game, and he had a bunch of stuff in his store that he was looking to offload. So here we are again for another private pick. Hopefully, Scotty's got some really good stuff. I'm looking forward to it. Let's dive in. How are you, buddy? Good to meet you, my yeah, man. Yeah, you too. Good to meet you. You're a familiar face. What a lovely home you've got. Oh, thanks, buddy. It's incredible. There's a 
bo a box of one of the boxes is full of games here. Um, I haven't listed those. Probably the majority PS3 stuff, I think. Maybe an Xbox, but I'm not sure how great all the discs and everything are. So okay. So just from a quality perspective, eh? Yeah, but all the DVDs, uh, they all came from my brother-in-law, so they're all good. You didn't, you didn't like these? Mate, I can't get away with wearing those. <laughs> they look good online. <laughs> Yeah, nice. They're what size are you? Th these are 14. 14? Hey, sons, yeah, he wasn't in them. Yeah, wow. I'd, I usually get a 13. You're, yeah, I think I'm about 12 and a half, 13 myself. Yeah. Take it from me. Um, there's a stack of PS2 games as well that I don't think I've listed. Um, that you haven't listed? Yeah, they, they would need to be checked as well. Yeah, okay. Um, all these consoles are tested. They're all working. So um, they're all working? Yeah. Yep. Everything bagged is complete and working. Okay. Um, these, those Wiis, they work, but they're not. Mm. You know, they're missing power. Mm. The Wiis are a tough sell for me. Yeah, I know. Can't, can't get them moving too heavily, but the PlayStation 2 stuff yeah. does, does do all right. There's like a, a buzz with the microphones and a, um, like a SingStar mm -hmm. kit as well. Mm. That's all, all good. Yep. Um, Anything that's movie related on DVD, I'm probably going to pass on. Yeah. Um, just with the, the push for this sort of stuff, the TV that's shows. TV shows yep. there. There's no TV shows. There might be the odd series, but... All right. A bunch of PlayStation 2. Even a cheeky GameCube game here as well. Rocket Power Beach Bandits. But uh, yeah, I enjoy the fact that with the games, we can go ahead and list them up as bundles. So I'm pretty interested in just trying to get a price on all of these. Even down the bottom here, there's two rows of games. Looks like a lot of PS3 and a lot of PS2 up here as well. Worms. Don King Prize Fighter. Bunch of controllers, it looks like in here. That looks cool. Don't know what that one is. These tubs here we can look at as well. So all of these controllers are working. It's missing its top clip, but these PS3 fats were all working. Some more games. None of them look too hectic. Air trainer ones. Condition of these crazy. I like new. I've just separated the games, the toys, the consoles, the DVDs, the shoes. That is all what I'm interested in. I've just left over here some stuff that I'm not so interested in. Wii Gear doesn't do as well. Um, just a few controllers and toys up here. All of these, as we saw before, are just um, movies. Um, so I'll let that get sold off on Facebook Marketplace or Gumtree. Uh, and then we've just got a few controllers and more Wii uh, and SingStar over there as well. Bit 50-50 on the pops, not too sure I have phased out of doing pops, but I'll leave that as a bit of a discussion point um, just to see how much he wants to sell that for. Uh, but this is all definitely something I'm happy to have a chat around purchasing. So we'll just see, see what the numbers line up like and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I don't want to, uh, right, this is negotiation, all right? I'm going to be clear. I'm going to give you a number. Yeah. I'm just giving you a number. Yeah, of course. Right? Yeah. Five hundred bucks. Five hundred bucks. It was exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> to be to be fair, it was. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lowball you or highball you on that. Hey, if you give me five hundred bucks, I'll be 
over the moon. I'm happy with that. Let's yeah, do it. Done. Easy as that, my man. Easy. Appreciate that. No, no that's I good. There's a bit of fat in that for you. You should, you should do all right. Awesome stuff. Holy shoot! <laughs> wow, successful. Yeah, I've, I bought all of his pops as well, but I might not list them. Oh, wow, I didn't see them. There's some good pops in there, though. But it's going to be a lot of, like, bulk listings, I reckon. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of, like, consoles and stuff. So there's a lot of sorting to do, basically. Yeah. But 600 bucks. It's good. It's not bad, eh? Look, it's been a lot of sorting and a lot of work. I've got a bunch of games here on PlayStation 2. They didn't fit the bill for uh, being able to list individually and nor did this big stack of 95 PlayStation 3 games. So there's two bundles there that weren't able to be uh, sold individually and then we've actually got quite a large stack up here now. Majority of these bundles have also come off Scotty. So, you know, big listings, $100, $200 a piece type thing. We try and sell these off for like 2 to $3 each um, and I'm loving the fact that they are actually coming through with some good sales. Um, I've just got all of this left, which I didn't talk about this in the video, but this one's actually a Star Wars uh, Xbox 360. It's just the DVD port that doesn't work. Um, but as, as he touched on, all of these uh, PlayStation 3 games, I've still got a list up. Got to sort through all of these controllers, some more PlayStation consoles, and then some more Skylanders in there, and then a bunch more controllers in there. But I have been madly listing away. Um, you'll see in there, couple of Xbox One uh, consoles. There's a white one that I listed up as well for about 170. So yeah, awesome deal from Scotty. Um, I've just gone ahead and I've taken seven items out that I'm going to be putting into the second store for this second store challenge. Um, there was actually that Xbox One for 170 tucked away under there. And I'm also going to put that white one uh, on as well. And then just a couple of other little items, nothing too hectic, but it does round it out to uh, $700 worth of value, but it's only six listings going into the second store. And considering how much we bought, I'm not taking a whole lot out. I'm just putting in the good stuff into the second store and hopefully they can go on to sell. All right, I've decided to pop in a Friendly Bricks this morning and uh, drop off the Funko Pops. I just don't really want to be selling too many Funko Pops in store, so... I've got 30 small Funkos and I've got nine larger sized Funkos, so 39 pops. And I'm gonna try and sell it off to them for $100. Uh, basically getting my $100 back that I spent with Scotty yesterday. So, the Friendly Boys love to sell Funko Pops. It's a category that they, they are looking for. So at least I know that I'll be giving them stock that they actually won. And they're all Game of Thrones as well, so. I'd imagine that would be a highly sought after Funko Pop. Not that I know the category too well. The boys will know better than me. My uh, knowledge of Funkos is pretty limited. But um, we're here now. So let's drop in, say hi to the boys, and try and get our $100 back. $100, just like that. So that's awesome. Um, here's the boys' details just here. This is it at Carrara Markets, Friendly Bricks. Actually, there it is right there. Go and check them out. A lot of cool collectibles and uh, some really cool dudes. We had the one sale come through over the weekend uh, for what was week six of this series. Um, the Amex Thea's sold and the Nike Pegasus 38 sold to the same buyer. So it was one sale, but it was two items, which is brilliant. Um, you're always gonna save money on postage when you get multiple items purchased. Um, the Thea's here sold for $34.95. And I think I paid $10 for these uh, back in week two. So I think the sell-through rate on these shoes was about 33 days, um, which is right on the sort of the end of the time period that I like to try and have these items move. Um, so that was awesome to see them come through. Uh, and then these as well, I mean, the sell-through rate on these was like three or four days. These sold super, super fast. I spoke about them in the week that I bought them, the Pegasus 38s. Any Pegasus shoe in the Nike range is a good one. Um, we paid $12 for these, and we ended up selling them for $49.95. So 50 bucks on that, 35 on that, we're gonna ship them off to the same buyer and we're, only, and we're getting an $85 sale price. So that was really, really cool to see. Would have liked to have seen a few more sales come through from this weekend, but still, they were two good sales. I'm happy to have at least a couple.
And unfortunately, it was just the one additional sale that we had over the last couple of days to end week six. It was sliders uh, that ended up selling on DVD, a bit of a box set that took a little bit to sell. It was a good 40-day sell-through rate on that one there. Um, only made about $3 in profit. It was a part-season DVD set. And like I touched on at the beginning of the episode, it's always those full season sets that always make the most money. So sliders, touched on it as a bad buy in last week's episode, but at least it came through with the sale uh, in this week's episode. Um, Overall, the week has been $250. Um, Now, the six items that we've put into the store off um, the massive private buy that we did with Scotty this week... um, was actually put in on day five of that week. And again, a bit like I touched on uh, in in last week's episode, the process of trying to list consistently in this second store with everything else that I've got going on has been definitely tedious and tough. I've found it very, very hard to do. And I've even said last week that I was going to get it back into a rhythm this week and I didn't. And I was really disappointed in myself that I didn't do that. Um, So that's actually really now like a two-week period has gone by and I've only had two listing days, um, which is just not the way you should best go about it in best practice. You want to be consistent. And we are being consistent in the sense that $700 is going in every week. Um, I'm just doing it in one big lump sum on one big listing session. Um, well, not even a big listing session. It was only six items that went in this week. So, um, you know, there's very obvious reasons why we're at $1,709 and 34% to goal after almost you know, 50% of the time frame that I want. Like if it, we're, we're six weeks in, so that's basically 45% of the duration of this series that's now gone by towards our 90 days. We've only hit 34% sales volume. Um, so we are slightly behind in the challenge. Um, and I can 100% guarantee you it's just because I haven't been listing up every single day or at least scheduling items to go live every single day. Um, I've still got a few weeks here. I've still got six, uh, what is it? No, seven weeks. Yeah, okay. Seven weeks to turn it around. Um, and the other way I'm going to do that is just by listing consistently. That, that's really all I need to change. Um, I still am very confident about hitting this $5,000 goal. I think next week is a big week, uh, crossing the halfway point of the series. Um, hopefully some good items that we find out in the thrift um, when we go out and do some more thrifting for individual items uh, next week in next week's episode. But um, the, the the health of the main store is going really well after that big bulk buy from Scotty this week. And that did really kind of take over priority. Courtney and I were just listing up massive amounts of items into the main store and obviously only putting the six items in in one listing session in the second store meant that we only got the 250 bucks worth of sales. Still not disappointed though. $250 is better than nothing. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode this week. Uh, look forward to catching you for week seven of starting from scratch. We'll see you then.